Self-driving shuttles are being tested out at Kennedy Airport starting this week. But not everyone is ready to trust this new technology. CBS 2's Christy Kalishian gives us a closer look at the Port Authority's pilot program. Stepping into the future of public transportation for the Port Authority. No steering wheel needed. I think that we're kind of seeing the future right now. Signage about the self-driving vehicles is the first thing you'll see at JFK Airport's long-term parking lot 9. At 9 miles per hour, these cube-shaped electric shuttles can fit 8 people and luggage inside. Right now, two are shuttling people to and from their cars and the air train during its pilot program that started Tuesday. We want this to be very exciting for your first ride and very boring for your second ride. Using Using what's called light R technology, the shuttles know their path and are ready to stop or slow down when something's near it. It has a satellite receiver on top and six sensors. We have three of them on, on each end. So it makes sure that we see 360. I prefer human judgment. Autonomous vehicles have already been used in other cities and airports, like these Waymo cars in California. Emmanuel Jacob has used before. A little frightening sometimes at first when you're not used to it, but um, I've come to trust technology. I don't know if I'd be comfortable with that. I don't feel totally safe with it. Lionel Russell used to be the one shuttle driver in Lot 9, and the new shuttles are hoped to relieve the burden for the drivers and reduce wait time. And drivers like him are are not losing their jobs. They'll be on each shuttle to ensure safety and eventually be able to control them remotely. It's the same thing. It's not taken away. It's, it's actually an addition. It puts us squarely in the position of providing more service with the same staff. The pilot program for these shuttles will be running from 8 a.m. to 12 noon, Monday through Friday, for the next two months. At JFK Airport, Christy Kalishian, CBS 2 News.